Hey programmer, have you ever felt guilty for not coding every day? Or did the thought cross your mind that if you're not glued to your keyboard, you are not a real programmer? Think again. Just the way that I don't stop being a runner when I sit down to read a book or I don't stop being a parent when I hit the road running. Same is true for programming. You do not stop being a programmer when you step away from the keyboard. Curious? Stick around because this video might just change the way you think about programming. There's the misconception that you need to write code every day to be a good programmer. And that simply is not true. First of all, coding is a skill. Like any skill, it benefits from regular practice. But that does not mean that you need to do it every day, every single day without any breaks or all day long. The most important part of it is that it benefits from quality. The quality of coding, writing the code, engineering, designing, and so on. The knowledge that you gain from it, the experience you get from it, not how often you do it. And consistency here, it's important, it's key. So if you do it every day, it's your choice. If you choose it to do it, do it every other day or a weekly basis or bi-weekly, whatever fits your lifestyle, just make sure that you're staying consistent and building that skill. Think about it this way. If you code every day, even when you're super tired or burned out, the quality of your work will suffer. And it might be like running a marathon without proper training or rest, and that results in more harm than good. Mmm, this matcha with strawberry, if you haven't tried it, you're missing out. Mm. Let's visualize it. Imagine a graph where the x-axis represents the time and y-axis represents productivity. If you push yourself to code every day without breaks, your productivity will start high but quickly decline as burnout sets in. However, if you allow yourself to take breaks and come back refreshed, your productivity remains more stable and high overall. And let's be real, life happens. You might have other priorities, hobbies, or just want to take a break, enjoy a sip of matcha. That does not make me less of a programmer. And in fact, stepping away from the screen might be beneficial. How many times have you found yourself that you come up with fresh new ideas when you're on a walk <laughs> or like taking a shower and suddenly voila, I know how to fix that bug, that gnarly, nasty bug that I spent hours debugging and then boom, what I, <laughs> I'm taking a shower, I know what I need to do. Honestly, some of my best ideas came out to me that when I was not coding and actually was doing activities so that were not relating to code. Hmm. So taking a break or stepping away from the screen provides you with a new fresh perspective and ideas. Remember, being a programmer is about problem solving skills and critical thinking. And it's not only about coding and the act of writing the code. It's more about reading books, engaging in discussions, and even playing games all can contribute to your growth as a programmer. And let's not forget about the community and continuous learning. Engage with other programmers. 
join online forums, go to different tech talks, online classes. All of this are all of these activities are as useful to your progression and success as a software engineer. And they are just as valuable as sitting down and writing code. So to all the aspiring software engineers, give yourself the permission to take breaks, to not have that pressure of you have to code every day. And anecdotally, this message is also for me, the me of two weeks ago. The reality is that I have been a software engineering manager for quite a while now, and my majority of my responsibilities were related to code, but I was not actually getting my hands dirty on writing code. And just a few weeks ago, a group of my fellow colleagues decided to get together on a hackathon and to build an app. So I was excited about the idea, I wanted to do it, but I no longer thought I can do it. I was afraid, like I haven't coded in so long. And this is where the idea came in that I have to write code, well, at least once a week or something like that, or every day to be a programmer. And truth be told, there was this close um, that the, the situation was that I was about to say, no, I will not do it because I didn't want to drag anybody down. I didn't want to slow anybody down. I didn't know if I can remember how to code and stuff like that. I thought it would be a slow romping up. Somehow I decided to do it. And lo and behold, one of the days we're all kind of pair programming, trying to connect the database to, to the application and it's not working. And we could not figure out what it is. Then late at night when my team I wanted to say family instead of team. Uh, when everybody was sleeping, I put on some music, I put my lights, and I started to try to take it step by step, break it down into smaller pieces and try to do it. And to my surprise, I got it, it was working. And it's like, yes, I still remember it. I just need to give myself the chance to succeed. So do not have that miss conception that you have to code every day and if ever anybody tells you that you need to code every single day tell them hey by the way do you chefs have to cook every single meal of theirs i'm pretty sure they're ordering ordering pizza from time to time as well so if chefs can take a break and order food or something like that why you can't as a programmer, you should be able to take breaks and you should not be coding or glued to your monitor and keyboard and terminal and IDE 24 seven. That's just not sustainable. However, if that what you want to do and it brings you joy and you're super excited to do it, don't let anybody stop you. But that does not mean you have to do it every single day. If not, but it full fuels you. If your fuel is somewhere else, do that. Get the fuel somewhere else and then come and recharge with a fresh set of eyes and ideas and perspective and bring it in into pro programming because that is your value. You are not lesser of a programmer if you don't code every day. Focus on the bigger picture. Keep learning, keep practicing, and most importantly, take care of yourself. Do not fall into this trap that you are not a programmer because you're not coding every day or that you're not coding after work. That is not the definition of a programmer. If you found this video helpful, share, subscribe, comment, and share it with a friend who might need this at this time. For more tips and insights, don't forget to subscribe. Until next time, happy coding and happy resting. See you next time.